Sometimes it's useful to do a quick stability analysis for a system without actually finding the roots of the system. So let's just look at this, look at what the possibilities are. First off, because this is zero, we can always have a positive in front of this second order system here. So our possibilities are we could have a plus sign here, a plus sign here. We could have a minus sign, plus sign, minus sign, minus sign, or plus sign, minus sign. In this first case, we can see that zeta is going to be greater than zero. Therefore, the system is stable. Here, you can see that zeta must be less than zero, so the system is unstable. You can also see zeta is less than zero, so we have an unstable system here and unstable here. So for a second order system, we can only have a stable system if both of the signs are positive. Or we could write second order system is stable if all coefficients have the same sign. That means that you can simply look at a second order differential equation. If the coefficients are all the same, the system will be stable. If the coefficients have different signs, the system will be unstable. For higher order systems, you can do some analysis using what's called Ruth Horowitz. The Ruth Horowitz stability criteria states that a necessary but not sufficient condition for stability is that all the signs on the coefficients must be the same. So the Ruth Horowitz criteria tells us that if the signs on the coefficients of a differential equation are all the same, the system may or may not be stable. However, if the signs are different, we can be assured that the system will have at least one pole in the right half plane and the system will be unstable.